Okay, so let's have a little bit of a look at some more things we can do on the third and fourth pages of our spread. Um, I feel like I rushed over pictures a little bit. And one thing I didn't show you was how to actually create your own picture frame in which to put a picture. Uh, that's a quick and easy one. You sometimes might want to have quite a small photo, actually. It might be that, say, it's a portrait of somebody who contributed to the article, an expert who's weighed in. Um, and so let's look at how we might do something like that. So what you need is the picture tool. Uh, in fact, the picture frame tool, which is this one up here with a cross on it. So um, I'm going to click on that. Uh, and now I can draw myself a frame. And this is the frame that I'm going to place my picture into. So as I keep harping on about, you have to have a frame for a picture. You know, you know, a lot probably just blue tack some poster to your walls like the skanky students who are. But we us posh people in InDesign, we only have our picture in frames. So um, I'm now going to place an image in that by going to File and Place. So File menu and then Place. Control D is the shortcut if you like it. And I've stuck a picture in there. Now, what you might initially think is, well, what the hell is going on here? Like, I can just see a bunch of pixels and not much else, right? Um, well, that's just because the image is a lot bigger than the frame. So to fix that, our select tool is always our friend. That's the black arrow over here on the left. I'm going to click on this box, and you may remember this from before. I'm going to go to fitting and fill frame proportionally. So now we can see what's going on. Now, as ever, we want to follow that grid, those columns, gutters, and margins. So I'm going to try making it about this sort of size. So it's fit in perfectly in the column and in a couple of these kind of little grids that we have. Once again, that's obviously changed the fitting. So I will go to fitting and fill frame proportionally. OK. So that's quite straightforward, but this is actually sitting on top of text at the moment, which is a big problem. So what I need to do is go to text wrap. Hopefully you've got that under window and text wrap or already over here on the right hand side. So making sure I have the actual image selected, I'll click on the second button along, which is to turn that, to create a text wrap. And remember, I want on this layout a five mil wrap, which will ensure that the uh, gap between the photo and the text is the same as the gutter between the columns. Now, I'll have a quick look at that layout and straight away I'll think, well, these two photos together, it all looks a bit squashed. Maybe I need to rethink this whole layout. So how will I do that? Well, I think I'll bring this picture over to this side for now, for example. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, maybe this is the way forward. Maybe something's going to look better here. I can bring that text box down there. I can bring this up here. These boxes need moving around, of course, but I can figure that out over time. Just my general feeling is that that works a bit nicer. I'm not 100% happy with it. Maybe I could try breaking my columns just a little bit to center this off on here. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. Might go that way. So it's always about experimentation. See what happens. Um, but that is how you create yourself a new picture frame.